Welcome from the AI for Good Global Summit here in Geneva. I'm delighted to say our guest today are Dr. Alessandra Sala, who is the Senior Director of Artificial Intelligence and Data Science at Shutterstock. Welcome. Hello. And also Sejal Amin, who is the Chief Technology Officer also at Shutterstock. Good afternoon. Thank Hello. you for having us. First of all, tell me, what does your job involve? First of all, thanks for having us here today. I'm leading teams of data scientists and AI engineer to build amazing AI technology that we're bringing to product at Shutterstock. And I'm also involved as a female activist, as president of Women in AI, which is a non-profit global organization around the world, and the co-chair of the UNESCO Women for Ethical AI platform, which is tasked to facilitate the implementation of the ethical recommendation in artificial intelligence. Okay, there's a lot there, a lot of information. How does your job complement what you do? Well, she's so fabulous. Um, but in my role as Chief Technology Officer, I'm responsible for the technology strategy and the engineering of all of, all of the products that our customers and contributors have come to enjoy over the years. Sure, okay. Dr. Sala, let me ask you firstly, what kind of guidelines on AI are needed um, and how do we ensure that they're adopted internationally? Oh, that's a big question. So let's try to unpack it. Sure. Um, let's start globally and then we'll show some example of what we do at Shutterstock. Um, first of all, at a global perspective, we have recently announced a few years ago the global UNESCO recommendation on the ethics of AI. It's a global framework that allow government around the world to establish processes, procedure and legislation that work in their country to enable that this technology really serves humanity, human rights, human freedom, and most importantly, is inclusive to, for everyone and doesn't leave anyone behind. Um, at Shutterstock, we also try to implement those principles in practice. So we have established an ethical framework. Every time that we build an AI model, we audit the data, we source data with diversity, we audit the model so we mitigate bias and discrimination. And on top of that, we also help our engineers that have never been trained for ethical courses to actually acquire those skills. So Shutterstock is investing in helping us to understand the ethical implication of the technology that we build. Some big issues there, as you say. So Sejal, AI is developing at such a fast rate. Where do you see what you're doing in the mid to long range? Yeah, you know, a lot of, um, a lot of what we've discussed here over the past two days, I, I think is where the industry is going to go. Um, look, industries, public and private, are learning about how the implementations are working and candidly how they're not. Uh, we've heard a lot over the last few days around provenance. I think that will be, um, that and a few other things are going to be incredibly important. Where did the, did, the, did the data come from? Um, how was it sourced? Um, was there a fair representation of, of people in the data? Um, the original intent of how the data was being used. Would the owner of the data agree with its reuse? Privacy and protection. How is the data protected? Um, where is it stored? Who has access to it? All of those questions, I think, are going to have to be very open and transparent. And speaking of transparency, I think being able to explain the answers that the models are returning is going to be incredibly important. You know, um, a lot of the industry is just talking about the wealth of data they have as their competitive advantage. And I think over the next few years, the ethics around managing that data and how it's being used in models will become a competitive advantage. Even more big issues. There's, uh, there's a lot to it, I can see. And Dr. Sala, what are some of the, I know you've given us some, but what, what are some of the other examples of, of what you're doing that is AI for good? So we have heard that AI is entering our life. I, in 
many different forms. It will help to progress our agenda on the planet, on education, on gender equality, and so on. And we all believe that AI can move us forward with the SDGs. However, those models need to have the right representation taken account when they are built. So at Shutterstock, what we are doing is to fund people from marginalized community to bring their views into the data. So a photographer that couldn't have access otherwise to be part of those data set that then we use to build AI so that we represent the world through our diverse network of two million contributors already today around the world, but even more, constantly expanding, constantly finding new projects where we can found diverse model, diverse representation. Just after our talk, we were talking about with people with disabilities and how to have them more represented and how they can use our technology in a way that empower their lives. So it's an evolving project. It's, uh, it's, um, it's a journey more than a project, I would say. We have started and we constantly challenge ourselves to push it forward. Mm. And Sejan, perhaps you want to pick up on that. How as a creative company do you um, create AI for good beyond your business goals? Yeah, um, you know, actually I want to build on the point um, that we presented on earlier in terms of enabling underrepresented groups. We've um, recently launched the Create Fund that essentially enables artists from underrepresented areas who may not have access to the skills and tools so that we're closing an access gap. And by closing that access gap, we're also closing content gaps so that that content is then available for AI, um, for AI model training and we're increasing the breadth of diversity diversity in that content. Thank you both very much, Dr. Alessandra Sala and Sage Alamin. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. More to come on the AI for Good Global Summit in Geneva. Mm -hmm.